Our Capitol Bureau is covering the governor's state of the state address tonight. COVID was a frequent topic as Governor Kelly laid out her vision for the next legislative session. And then Republicans weighed in, pointing to what they call failed promises. Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung live tonight. Rebecca. Thank you, Jeff. Well, the speech from the governor is giving us just a glimpse of what we can expect when she runs for re-election this year. She's adding on to a long list of promises, but Republicans say many of these efforts are falling short. Kansas lawmakers hearing from the governor on her top priorities this year. We can put allegiance to Kansans ahead of allegiance to political party. The governor announcing a new move during her speech to put a freeze on college tuition increases in Kansas. And of course, bringing up her plan to axe the state's hefty food sales tax. With this surplus in the bank and increased revenue because of our economic growth, we can finally responsibly afford to totally eliminate the grocery sales tax. With state revenue up, the issue is promising to gain bipartisan support. But Republicans are also recalling the governor's veto of their plan for a gradual reduction of the tax in 2019. Republicans are focused on a different approach, an approach that will responsibly ratchet down the sales tax, not only on food, but on everything else our families need to buy. Kelly also calling on lawmakers to support frontline workers in hospitals as they tackle another coronavirus surge and farmers dealing with the aftermath of wildfires in western Kansas. But in the end, lawmakers will have to figure out where those spending priorities lie, which could change some of those plans that are on the table. Take a save more instead of a spend more approach, resisting the temptation to overspend. We can balance the budget while also funding our schools fixing our roads and bridges, funding other essential services. Now also in the House, Attorney General Derek Schmidt making an appearance. The Republican frontrunner will be facing off against Kelly in this year's election. And some of those big items that are on the table, the ones that get passed here, may impact how that race plays out. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.